Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jimix. Welcome to the Champion Who. Welcome back if you're not. And today, we're going to be talking about Deadpool and Wolverine. This is going to be my full review of the film, uh, kind of my thoughts, um, and, and kind of where I think we're going with the MCU and all that good stuff. Uh, so I'm just kind of breaking it down. If you guys have seen uh, previous reviews of mine when it comes to these, uh, these film reviews or things like that, uh, I kind of you leave uh, the first quarter of the, of, the, of the review kind of talking about, you know, my non-spoiler review and then the rest of it, um, you know, all out, you know, no secrets held back about the film. So uh, if you haven't seen the film yet, um, definitely just kind of stop at that point. I will let you know when I start talking about spoilers um, and then just kind of come back to me later on and we can just chop it up in the comments kind of talking about the film um, as you guys watch the rest of the video. So I'm just kind of giving, giving y'all that disclaimer now so that you know if you haven't seen the film, at some point I'm going to start talking about spoiler content. So, hey, but at the same time, it's been it's been a few days. It's it, it, it's been honestly it's been almost a week since this film came out so at this point you probably already know about all the big stuff anyway so it's 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 fine um but yeah let's get into it um deadpool and wolverine right i think deadpool and wolverine was a phenomenal movie this is my non-spoiler side of this other video by the way um i think it was a phenomenal movie um i think there was just a lot done well in this film a lot done right um yeah, I think the pacing was great. I think the just the overall story that was being told here was great. I think um, as a film, uh, it was really nice to go into this film and, and, and I guess finish the film um, kind of with that sense of this was a contained adventure that had so much nuance to it. Um, and I think that was really cool, especially considering this is the only like film that we're getting from the MCU this year. Um, I think it was really nice to have a really good film that didn't do too much like with setting things up. Like they didn't go out of their way to try to set up future films, um, which is not something you would have expected from a dead film, De Deadpool film anyway. Uh, but they didn't go too much out of their way to try to set up future films. But they definitely left a lot of nuance and kind of like undertones that if you look into, you're like, oh, okay, this could mean that, and that could mean this with the the context that we already have currently uh with like you know current projects that have already released and future pro projects so i really like that um as a film um it, it was contained um but it kind of left it left it left some questions it introduced some new content uh some new concepts and i think that was just really cool right um so yeah as a film, really good. If I had to give you my my review right now, like I think um or my rating right now, I, I want to give like a cool like honestly like I'm going to give it like an 8 or a 9 out of 10. I think 8.5 out of 10. Um, and I'll kind of get into why. Like, I mean, um, it's not that I don't deserve... I don't think the film deserves a 10 out of 10. Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to to just like actually review something and give it like a 10 out of 10 and be like, okay, was it really that flawless? I don't think the film was flawless. Um, but I also couldn't tell you um, exactly like what issues I had with the film. Like, I didn't really have any issues with the film. I just don't think it was, you know, 10 out of 10 worthy. Um, but I think if, if, if someone came to me on the street or, you know, if I was talking to anybody about the film and they said, I think it was a 10 out of 10, I don't think I would disagree either. Even I'd be like, yeah, honestly, that's a fair review. Um, like I said, I can't really tell you like why exactly I'm like at that eight, nine range. Um, but maybe more so maybe just because I feel like, you know, the film wasn't perfect. Like, we're not talking about a perfect film here. Um, but we are talking about a film that was um, that was really well done. It was enjoyable and it was fun. Um, and, I, and I think any lower than an eight is just, I, I think, I, I, I think... You, you kind of you kind of selling the film short if you give this film anything lower than an eight um and if you and but at the same time if you go higher than a nine i'm like well the film wasn't perfect you know what i mean but at the same time i couldn't tell you why so you know that's kind of where i'm at with 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 that but um yeah, I, like I said, I think it was a really good film. I don't think I, I'd be mad if anybody said it was a 10 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10. You tell me below an 8, though, it's a problem. Um, yeah, it just did a lot of things, like, really, really well. Um, and, yeah, that's my that's my non-spoiler review. I can't really get into to much else if you haven't seen the film yet. So, at this point, here it is. Come back to me later after you watch the film, and we'll chop it up in the comments. Let me know what, got, what you thought about the film. Give me your rating of the film in the comments later on. All right, so here we go. All right. We're talking about spoilers now. We got to start with, like, okay, the cameos, right? <laughs> Let's start with the cameos, right? I think, right? And maybe this is why I can't give this a, a 8 out of 10, or a 10 out of 10, right? Or a 9 out of 10. Hear me out. I was having a conversation with somebody, right? Because I really want to talk about these cameos because, um, like, that's the one thing about this film that blew my mind, how... They were able, like, none of these, none of these, like, leaks came out. Like, nobody, nobody called, first spoiler, 
Chris Evans coming back as Johnny Storm. Um, nobody called Henry Cavill playing Wolverine, which was insane, by the way. I think Cavalrine was harder than we expected. And I honestly, I honestly think like people I, I, I've been hearing kind of split like about Henry Cavill. Like some people were like, yo, like, I don't know. I, I don't know about that one. But me, when he was revving that bike and he pulled out the cigar, it was hard. It was the hardest scene I've ever seen. Like that was hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. Henry Cavill as Wolverine was hard. Um, but like, um, Henry Cavill um, playing Wolverine, a variant of Wolverine. Crazy that nobody leaked that. It's crazy that nobody leaked Wesley Snipes coming back as Blade. Nobody leaked um, Elektra coming back. I forgot the actress name, but Elektra coming back. Nobody leaked Channing Tatum playing Gambit in this film, which was also the hardest thing. Bro. I'm gonna get to that in a second. Nobody leaks X23 coming back, which we could have expected X23 coming back because we were t they were kind of talking about how they're gonna keep the legacy of Logan, you know, um, which was also like funny how they they started the film and they're like, oh yeah. Um, so I know everybody's been wondering how are we gonna you know protect the legacy of Logan? Yeah, we're not. <laughs> and then he just proceeds to desecrate uh, Logan's grave, which was insane. Um, but like the cameos, man, and um, I think that's why I'm like kind of like I don't know with. Without the cameos in this film, is this film... I, I think we get a very different film. And maybe, again, maybe I'm selling the film short because of that. But I think without the cameos in this film, like, there was a lot of shocks. Like, oh, my God. And I think that might have to do with the fact that nothing was leaked and um, all that. But I think without the cameos in this film, how good is this film? And I'm like, I think I think you still float around that 8 out of 10 range. Um, wait, wait a minute. Let me think about this a little bit. Cause I'm 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 saying this and then I was think I was just I just had a thought I'm like at the same time though, like Henry Cavill was a cameo. You could consider like, um, the lizard dude and um that other the I think Juggernaut and um who else who else was in the film um, it was the dude that teleports like Nightcrawler I forget his name but him you know what those are cameos. I'm not gonna consider Johnny Storm, Blade, Elektra, Gambit or X twenty three as cameos. I think I was selling the film short when I said that. I'm not going to consider them cameos. I'm going to consider them characters in the film because I think they did more than cameos did. Um like than a cameo would do. Um yeah, I'm I'm going to I'm going to keep that a stack. Never mind. They're not cameos that are part of the film. So I think I'm selling this, the film short. I think it's a 9 out of 10 now. Okay. It gets a 9 out of 10. But I was having a conversation with somebody about that film and they're like, "Oh, without all those cameos, how good of the, is the film?" And I was like, "Well, as I was sitting here thinking about it, I was like, honestly, it's a different film. It's a different film. But I still think, you know, I I think we were selling I, I was selling the film short. I think we both were honestly, but I think I was selling the film short with that one. They, I don't think they're cameos. I think they had solid parts of the film and I think they were great to watch, amazing to watch. Just getting to each individual, like I think it was really cool seeing Electra. I think it was really cool seeing um and then like the hints to Daredevil, I think was really cool. Um Oh, the jokes in this film are phenomenal. Like it was like they like Ryan Reynolds went above and beyond with the script in, in this film. Um, it it was just great. Like everything was like intentional. It was fun. Um, it was just like it was so many cool things. And if you know all the like real world stuff going on with the whole Fox acquisition, all that stuff, these jokes get even funnier. Um, all the bounds they were pushing, the limits they were pushing with this film in the MCU was just great. I love that they just kept Deadpool, Deadpool. Um, it didn't feel like it was watered down or anything. It felt like Deadpool, which was really really nice. Um. You uh, know, just like going through the rest of it, like, um, you know, I think it was really cool seeing X-23, how they broke down, like, there, there, there was like, just to speak on that a little bit, like, this was a really fun film, but it was really nice to see that, you know, just with that inclusion of X-23, uh, just for example, like, they still, like, Deadpool Wolverine aren't, like, mildly, con like, super complex characters past their origin stories, so it was really nice that even though we had this really fun story that they, that, that, that pause that they still had or created a layer of depth to these characters because there's a lot of fun stuff going on there's a lot of fighting and action and, and and plot going on but they still um made sure that they included some subplots to create some depth for both of these characters which was really really nice and um just the interactions between Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds throughout this entire the entirety of the film was just amazing it was just great to watch it was a joy to watch it was so enjoyable um but yeah I love that they still kept those undertones you know you still have that whole plot of this version of Wolverine being considered the worst Wolverine in the entire multiverse, which I, I, I don't know about that one. K, I don't know about that one. Um, but you know that that being the case here is like I really like 
that um they they gave him some depth there um and the inclusion of x23 to be like yeah you're not my logan but i'm, I'm letting you know wolverine is always the worst guy <laughs> for the job always like bro was exaggerating wolverine is always the worst guy um but wolverine always you know for the most part you know you know, makes it right. He's always uh, the guy that we need to, to 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 do the job. So I think it was really cool um, with with the, that subplot there with uh, the character uh, or the the Wolverine variant that we got. I think was just really cool. Um, and of course, like with Deadpool, Deadpool's plot wasn't nearly as uh, in depth. This was just him, like you know, you know. I think his journey in this film was just him, like you know, accepting the role of a hero. Like, yeah, I, I'm a hero. I can do something about these things. I'm gonna protect my universe. I'm the best I can. You know, I'm not gonna just let somebody just end our universe. I'm gonna try to save it. Um, and I think that was really cool. Of course, his motivations, you know, of course, with his girlfriend, of like, you know, being lost and you know, he ended up losing his girl for it. I think that was really cool. You know, just kind of like you know, call back to the previous films and that whole thing. Um, so it kind of gave his character some depth that Deadpool doesn't usually have. Um, in, in the grand scheme of things, kind of surface level and compared to the to the wolverine stuff um but his, but his just came down to learning how to be a hero you know and learning how to be a part of a team you know and i think that was really cool right um so yeah um you know overall with the the plot the main plot and subplot i think it was really good i think the villain was nice i think the villain did what she was supposed to do i don't think she was supposed to you know do too much beyond what she did there so i think it was that was really nice i wasn't too upset about that i i and this is kind of just a, a side tech take i have been having an issue with with marvel killing their villains um and and maybe i might make a video about this as well let me know if you guys want to see this but um i have been having an issue with marvel killing off all their villains i i think one of the greatest sins ever was killing killmonger i think that really sucks that you that you kill killmonger especially like in retrospect it's like now like obviously like rp chadwick boseman but like you kill killmonger imagine if wakanda forever you have killmonger monger alive and he comes back for that moment like that's i think i think you you have an insane story of killmonger who was once an enemy you know we don't have to keep killmonger a, a, a villain the entire time it's like killmonger who was once once an enemy you know this is a, a storyline where you know chat you know chadwick boseman's black panther died so it's like now there's needs there's someone that needs to take up the role he might not come back and be the king of wakanda but he can come back and be the Black Panther, and maybe Shuri can take on the role of the Black of, of the of the of the Queen of Wakanda, right? Um, and and I think that would have been a very cool, interesting um, storyline to tell. Um, you know, that's just retrospect, but you know, I have like that's just like a kind of a side thing. Like, I'm not too upset that Cassandra Nova died in this film. Um, but I I do I do appreciate that at least, very least she did what she was supposed to do. It didn't feel like she was supposed to go beyond here. So I think this was okay for me. Her death was okay for me. Um, uh, even though it was a, a little a little anti comeback, but her death was okay with me. Um, um, but as far as villains in general, I, I kind of have an issue with them killing all their villains like they got to show like some of these villains gotta come back like some of these villains like no we don't have to see them now like after their movie, but we do need like them just being around like keeps this keeps the universe breathing in a sense of yeah like every other weekend you know spiders spider-man's gonna have to fight you know his scorpion or, or electro you feel me like just for example you can't kill these villains off like you got you got it you gotta leave some alive you feel me or they're not gonna have anybody or like you're always gonna have to pull a new villain out the hat and i think that's kind of like i don't know i don't i don't really like that too much right now um i get it but it's like ah we gotta deal with that um but that's like a whole side thing right um but anyway getting back to deadpool wolverine um i think like the villain did what she was supposed to do i think uh the overall plot of the film was really nice um i like the new concepts um involved like the concepts of the anchor being i think that's a, a very interesting concept um i think the anchor being is is going to be interesting because i think um us finding out for example like in the fox universe that the anchor being of the fox universe was logan the wolverine i think it's 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 interesting um if if we apply that to other universes i wonder if the anchor being of the mcu as as we knew it the main like the 616 um and the mcu is um like Iron Man, imagine if Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man is the anchor being in the universe, and I, I think that's I think that's really interesting. Um, and also, we know that um, another concept that was I was introduced to us, we know that that process can be sped up. Um, granted, it, it's more in a in a, like in a bomb fashion, so I don't know if it's anything that can be sped up like highly. But it's just some thoughts that I started to have when uh, that concept was uh, was uh, obviously uh, revealed to us. And of course, with the news that you know Robert Downey Jr. Jr. is Doctor Doom, which we're gonna get into uh, definitely in another video. I got a video I'm gonna record after this talking about that. Um, but um, um, I think that's an interesting concept to introduce, right? Um, so yeah. 
I think um, all, all in all, like the film was just really nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think it was really cool. There was a lot of cool things that happened. Um, I think, like I said, these undertones, these subplots, you know, just uh, thinking about the future ramic ramifications of certain things, I think was really cool. Uh, kind of gave us some, some more depth to the TVA that not everybody's in line with uh, the top dogs in the TVA. Um, and I, I think it was just really cool. We got a lot of really cool concepts uh, real to us, uh, even though, like, in the grand scheme of things, um, this film doesn't really... Um, push the bounds or like kind of give us ma major news um when it comes to future films um which was you know it's fine i kind of wish that like the post credit scene wasn't a joke again even the post even though the post credit scene was hilarious because it's our only film this year i kind of wish our post credit scene meant a little more but uh, it's okay um it is what it is um because recently post credit scenes have been pretty lackluster anyway um besides like the marvels the marvels had like the best post credit scene in a while honestly um but yeah, um, like overall though, I think, um, yeah, pretty good film. I liked it. I enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the things to come in the future. Um, I, I do want Gambit to come back. Oh man, I want Channing and just talking about Channing Tatum's Gambit. I really hope Gambit comes back. I really do because I, I really enjoy it. And, it. and it doesn't have to be because it doesn't have to be that Gambit because I think there it was explained that all of those heroes were like from universes that, you know, died or like, you know, they got kicked out or their universes were taken over and the TVA was doing stuff. They had to kind of, you know, and th they were the people that wouldn't go down, uh, you know, without a fight. Um, so it doesn't have to be the exact Gambit from this film, even though it'd be nice continuity wise, but it doesn't have to be because we know they all survived. Like, you know, we get that, that talk that Deadpool has with, uh, uh, shorty at the TVA, like, hey, I got some friends that kind of helped out here. Can you can you hook them up, right? Um, you know, get them home or whatever. So it will be nice, right? It will be cool if, um, you know, some of these characters uh returned. I think Channing Tatum's Gam Gambit would be really cool as our Gambit, at least going to, into Secret Wars. Now after that, I don't know, but at least going into Secret Wars would be really nice. Um, and he would maybe be a part of the X Men team that we see at the end of the Marvels. I think that'd be really cool. Um. If he was from there or something like, you know, something like that, you know what I'm saying? Or, um, I don't know. Something along those lines I think would be really cool. Um, Wesley Snipes, Blade, and Elektra are going to be questionable. X-23 can easily come back, but those two are going to be interesting. I don't know about those two, um, just simply because um, of the, con like, you know, the actors getting a bit older context which was a joke made in the film we're supposed to be getting another blade film pretty soon <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we are but you know we're supposed to be getting that blade film um but you know wesley snipes definitely looked like he was still ready to go definitely raring to go um so i wasn't i was cool with it i mean it looked like he was still good but um we definitely need that that you know Marshall Lee Blade movie to come out, man. They they tripping on us with that one, man. Um, but yeah, uh, all in all, though, I think it was really cool. Uh, it'd be nice to see some of these characters, but we never see him again. You know, I wouldn't be too upset. I mean, Gambit would be a lot uh, a missed opportunity. Henry Cavill, we gonna we gonna we gonna let that slide, okay? Because even though it was badass, that's just an alternate timeline. We gotta let that one slide, even though it was cool. Um, but Gambit would be a missed opportunity. X twenty three would be a missed opportunity because she's a younger actor. She could easily play the role. Uh, you know, no problem. Um. But uh, yeah, all in all, really good film. I enjoyed it. Um, I, I liked all the you know the different cameos. I think we're cool to see um, the villain do what she had to do. The overarching plot, subplots were really nicely done. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, eight, eight, I'm gonna still sit at eight point five. No, I said nine. I went I went from eight to nine to eight point five. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight point five out of ten, maybe nine out of ten. Um, but I, I do want to, you know, be a bit candid about it. Like, keep it a stack, kind of like, you know, really break this film down for what it was. But I definitely don't think it's lower than an 8. I think you have to get, give this film an 8 or above on a 10 scale. On a, at, a, at a 5 scale, it's a 4 out of 5. So, you feel me? Uh, 4 out of 5 stars. So, um, yeah. That being said, um, yeah, that's my review of Deadpool Wolverine. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. What were your favorite parts of the film? What was, you know, the, your favorite jokes? Um, things about the film. It's been some days, so I can't even think of all the jokes uh, that I wanted to, I really wanted to talk about. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about the film, jokes, all that good stuff, uh, your ratings, and um, yeah, let's chop it up. Let's talk about it in the comments. Um, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.